Hello and good evening. This is uh, Ruth Pozuelo from uh, Curval.com and uh, today I'm going to show you how I have been following the Olympics uh, with the help of Power BI. So I have been on vacation and uh, because I live in Europe uh, it's not really easy to follow the Olympics, you know, the time difference. So I decided to create a Power BI file that uh, allows me to see what's going on without actually having to watch it on TV. I don't want to do that on my vacation. And um, also uh, I set up alerts on uh, the medal counts for the countries that I wanted to follow. So I will get notifications when something exciting was happening, either with uh, Spain or Sweden. So today I'm going to show you uh, how the file looks like. Um, you will be able to download it if you are a member of uh, Curve.com, which is absolutely free. The only thing you will get uh, is like cool updates on new dashboards. So join us and uh, you just register and then you have the file available for, for download. You will find a link on the description box if you want to download the file. So let me show you how it looks like. Uh, on the first page I have the sources I have used and then when was the last time I refreshed the file. So if uh, I haven't done anything for a couple of days, I know exactly when was uh, the last time I, I updated it. Then I have a report on the overall medals. And here I can see the medals uh, by valor and uh, country. Uh, there is a drill down possibility here, so you can see um, continent and then you can go down to subcontinent and you can go then down to actual countries. So you can see, for example, that Italy has most medals of all the South European countries. It was actually for me a surprise that Europe has so many medals. You know, uh, you always think about the United States and China as like, you know, the big athletes. But Europe, uh, of course, Europe is a continent, but it will be interesting to see the European Union. Hmm. So um, here you can see uh, the medal count by location. You can search here, uh, United States, and then everything will filter as usual. Uh, there is uh, one for athletes and uh, you can filter by athlete, sport and country. And then there is another one for sports. So you can filter by cycling road and then uh, you will see the athlete and the country, which category, the medal. And you can filter by athlete and country too. And then I have here the last one, which is the countries that I was interested in following. And I have uh, this style right here that it says total is the total number of medals that both Spain and Sweden have been winning in up to today. So um, what I have done is I have actually published this uh, in the Power BI service. To do that, you just first you have to log in and once you log in you can click on publish send it to my workspace I already have one there but uh, let's publish it again success excellent and now Let's see, uh, if we go to the Power BI service, here uh, I have the data set with uh, the source and here's what you would schedule the refresh, okay? And for that you have to uh, edit the credentials, make sure that uh, um, Power BI will ask you do you have access to these sources and uh, which uh, level of privacy you want to set. And then you can just click on um, schedule refresh. And we want daily 
And we want it between 6 p.m. and 12 a.m. That's perfect. Uh, okay. So now we have a schedule uh, done. So then we have the actual report here. This is what I've been showing you. And we're going to set alert on... Um, I'm going to show you how I set the alert for the uh, Spain and uh, Sweden countries. But uh, if you decide to download the file and do the same, you, the only thing you need to do is actually change the filter here and everything will work. But what you need to do is to add this style to the uh, a dashboard. Either you have one already or you create one. I already have one that is called Rio. And once you have it there, here's our tile. You go to the dots and then here with the bell you say add alert, alert for total medals above 13. We're at 13 now, so that's okay. Same, send me an email. So now the alert is set and once you set it here, it is also set on the mobile app. So you don't have to do it in both places. Um, here, uh, let's see, we cannot see it, but if we, perhaps if we do again the share, if we say we want to have that also pinned to our dashboard, we go to our real dashboard there and we let's delete this for some reason it's not working at the moment so here we have it now you will say i want to have an alert on an athlete or just want swimming gets a medal or something um unfortunately you can't uh, the guys at microsoft have not developed that yet so the only thing you can set alerts on is uh, numbers so you have to create a tile with a number for that you want to alert and then set the alert on the Power BI service. And then what you will get is this, which is quite cool. So you get an email and it says, okay, the total count is, in this case, it was 11. Uh, I start doing this when they have won four medals. Um, and then you can click here on tile and it will take you there to so the Power BI web environment now this was for an old dashboard so that's why it's not taking us there so uh, i hope you enjoyed today's video uh, again if you want to download the file you can do that at curve.com uh, you have a link to the site on our web, on the description box and uh, if you like the video please let me know uh, if you have questions and comments, uh, let me know also in the comment box and uh, subscribe. I post around a video a week. Uh, on coming videos, I will demonstrate how this file was created. So you will be able to follow step by step how I did it. But still, you can download and play with it already now. So there's not so much left of the game. So I want to share it with you already now. Have a nice evening. Bye.